In the last section, we got our first app up and running and we made a tiny change to it. We just added one line of text. In this section, we're gonna start building our own React app from scratch. We're gonna start by opening up index.ios.js, the same file that we had open in the last section. So once we have this open, I'm gonna go ahead and believe it or not, we're just gonna go ahead and select all and delete it. My rule of thumb whenever learning a new technology is to never copy paste a single line of code without having a pretty good understanding of what it's doing for us. So rather than using all the starter, the starter application that the React Native team gave us, we're gonna go ahead and build our own starter app from scratch. Don't worry, our code is gonna look very similar to the boilerplate we just deleted, so we're not gonna to stray too far away from the beaten path. First, let's talk about the app that we're gonna build. This one is gonna be pretty straightforward. It's just gonna be an app that lists the days of the week, Sunday through Saturday. Although the app will be pretty plain, we're gonna tackle a hefty number of concepts along the way. So we're going to write all of our code inside of this file here, index.ios.js. This file is going to end up uh, with a couple code sections in here, a couple uh, snippets that are going to be very common and repeated throughout all the files that we create uh, in all the applications that we make in this course. So to get started, I'm going to put in a couple comments here to just kind of section off the code that we're about to write. So the first one I'm going to put here, I'm going to say create a React component. Makes sense, right? In general, we always have a one-to-one -one pairing of files in our project to components in our, in our project. And don't worry, we're going to talk in great detail about exactly what a React component is. So we're going to have a section of code here that's basically our instructions that say this is what our component is. And then in almost every single file that we have, we're also going to say show the React component on the screen. So at some point in time, we need some chunk of code in here that says, okay, you know, I've defined my view, I've defined what my, I want my content to look like. Now I need to actually export it, uh, somehow get it to show up on the screen of the mobile device. Okay, so creating a new component in React is very straightforward. All we have to do is create a new variable, and we're gonna say just, we're gonna call it weekdays and we say react.createClass. And then we pass an object to that method. The object that we pass to this method here is essentially a set of instructions that define our component. And they say they define what our component looks like, you know, the general HTML structure, and also what the component does, excuse me, the general, uh, this is not HTML here, uh, the general structure of the component. Uh, and then we have other methods in here that define what happens when say maybe a user clicks on something or when the component is first created and rendered onto the screen and whatnot. There is one method that every React component must have and that's the render method. So we'll define a render key and the value will be a function. Cool, let's go ahead and continue in the next section.